There's a nice picture of a cab of a D49, all at a J11, and a B1. But what do all these numbers and letters mean? Let me explain. Right, well let me start with a very quick lesson on wheel arrangements generally. In the UK we use what's called the white notation introduced in the early 20th century and defines our steam locomotives and some diesels by defining the number of leading wheels, the number of driving wheels, whether they're coupled or not, and the number of trailing wheels. Any wheels on the tender are ignored and there's a suffix, that is a letter, afterwards to denote the type of tank engine. So starting at the front of the engine we see this uh, locomotive has two leading wheels, six driving wheels and two trailing wheels and therefore it's referred to as a 262. Now this locomotive also has two leading wheels, six driving wheels and two trailing wheels and therefore will be referred to as a 262 tank written as 262T. Now there are some specialist type of tanks, the Great Western in particular used saddle tanks which we'll come back to, pannier tanks like this one and the Southern used well tanks that is where the, the tanks themselves sitting underneath the boiler. Now I'm just going to throw in a word of warning here. This locomotive, this is a standard BR class, but it's a 264. Don't forget, you don't read left to right, you read from the front backwards. Now when the LNER came into being in 1923 with the grouping, what it decided to do is to, to lump together all its locomotives in class letters defined by the wheel arrangements. So A, became 462s, B became 460s and so on and so forth. So therefore all the uh, locomotives with 462 wheel arrangements became A1, A2, A3, the different classes of engine within that wheel arrangement. And here are those LNER class types, you, some of the more famous ones, the 462s, the A4s that we know about, uh, Bs, D's that we see on the uh, Yarslow layout. There's some very obscure ones. Don't know that there are many H classes that survived too long after grouping. And certainly um, the 422 and 224 tanks, the X classes, didn't survive very long. And there were some later ones introduced, of course, the famous Hush Hush, the W1464, which has just been released as a um, four millimeter model. You see that there was one oddball in there as well, the U class. This was the mighty Garrett. This was two engines under one body with a 280 engine facing one way and a 280 facing the other. Massive thing. Uh, the LMS used them more than the LNER, but the LNER had some and therefore uh, the categorization was required. So let's have a look at some of the locomotives uh, classes that run on Yarslow. We start with the B1s, 460s. We've then got a D16. Uh, I'll show you also a D49. Now, um, two different classes of engines, but with the same wheel arrangement. So D covers both. Here's a J36. There were lots of J classes on the LNER and later BR, uh, Northeastern and uh, Eastern region. Lots of 060 uh, freight engines. In fact, all of these are 060 engines. A J72 tank on the left, J36 on the right. The little 04 diesel in the middle, uh, BR built uh, 060, the diesels weren't referred to as J's, so don't get those two confused. Here's an L1, the forerunner of the standard class 264s. This one with uh, green pony and trailing wheels, uh, just had a new wheel set added after a nasty dose of Mazak rot. The beautiful uh, Oxford Rail N7, sweet little thing. A heavy mover, a uh, Hellion 02280, so O class here. Here's our V1, V3. The classes were very similar externally, 262 tank. And here's the tender version for long distance freights. This is the V2. 
And I should just mention that um, although the standard classes appeared on the northeastern and the eastern region, um, they didn't acquire the lettering system that the LNER used to use. This is a standard class 4260, so it was never referred to as a K something, as the other LNER 260s were referred. This was a standard class, it was BR built, so therefore they were referred to simply as standard class 4s. But of course the white notation, the wheel notation 260, still remains. So there you go, there's the LNER letters for their locomotive classes. So on the videos, if you hear me talking about a D16 or a B1 or a, a J36 or whatever, you'll have some idea of what I'm talking about. I'll leave you with that notation. Thanks for watching. See you soon.